Tis the question, when to replace, when to repair. If you've got a heating and air system that's having a problem, a lot of folks, sometimes they don't know what's the right answer. We've got a system that is X amount of years old. The repair is gonna be X amount of money. And how do we figure out whether it makes sense to repair or replace that system? In today's video, I wanna talk about something called the 5K rule. This actually was proposed to me during one of our live shows that we have on Tuesday nights. And we take questions live from folks that are our audience and we'll try to answer those. And someone said something about the 5K rule and then and here's the rabbit hole I've gone down. And so in this video, I wanna talk about that rule, when it makes sense, maybe Maybe and maybe when it doesn't, because I do think that this is kind of tough to have a blanket statement here. First of all, what is the 5K rule? And I'll just read you what Google has to say. The 5K rule in HVAC refers to a common guideline where you multiply the age of your HVAC system by the estimated repair cost. If the result is over $5,000, it's generally considered better to replace the unit rather than repair it like put a bunch of money in it, basically. If the number is below $5,000, repairing might be the more economical choice. Get some more life out of that system. Now, the first thing I'll say is when I started researching this and going down this rabbit hole, if you will, apparently this rule used to be called the $3,000 rule and the $4,000 rule. And now it's now the $5,000 rule. And the thing I'll propose based on recent inflation and all the other crazy things that we've seen across the board in our industry, when it especially talks about politics and tariffs and taxes and incentives and all the things that we've talked about in some of our other videos, maybe this number should be the six or $7,000 roll. I don't know. And so for me, it's hard to have a blanket statement. And I'll share at the end of this video, my actual thoughts on this as someone that has sometimes had those difficult conversations with homeowners and what I think the best advice here is. Let's dive into this. The 5K rule, the way you do it is you multiply the age of your system. So let's say your system is five years old. I'm gonna to try to use some just normal numbers here. A lot of folks in our industry would say five years is the either midway point or still early on in the system, depending on how much life a system can get I would love to see 15 years out of a system, if not more, but definitely 15 years if possible. The problem is folks don't take care of systems the way they should and heating and air companies don't maintain or install them the way they should. And so sometimes we see folks only getting 10 or 12 years out of that system before it makes sense for them to replace it. But if you had a system that was five years and then someone came along, a heating and air guy said to you, hey, there's a problem here to repair your system. It's going to be $1,200 to fix this problem. Whether it's, I don't know, a motor failure or a coil problem or whatever the issue is, the repairman says $1,200. By this rule, they're saying you would multiply that $1,200 times five and you would get $6,000. That's higher than 5K. And by their math, they're saying it might be time to replace that system. And on that same token, if we had a older system, let's say we've got a system that is 10 years old and a HVAC contractor tells you today that to repair that system is going to be a $600 repair. So a much significantly less in money repair, but $600 multiply that by 10. We're getting 6,000 again, which is above that 5k rule. And in both of those scenarios, they're saying that they would recommend to replace that system. I've seen this rule on some manufacturers, websites, brands that you've heard of talk about this, talk about this rule, and maybe it's time to replace that system instead. And I will say this before I get to my thoughts on the 5k rule, I do think you need to consider some things. The first one being the safety of the system. What is that repair and why did it have that problem? I would ask your professional, what's their professional opinion on what you should do? Maybe get a second opinion if you feel that's necessary. What is the shape of the existing system? If the system is in really rough shape, maybe I don't care that it's a little bit less in years, right? Maybe it's just been abused and, and it's time to replace regardless. But if it's a an older system, if it's you know got 12, 15 years on it, but everything's in really good shape and that professional's telling you, hey, listen, I don't have a lot of concerns here. It looks like you've taken really good care of this system. Then maybe that should play a role in your decision making. Another thing to consider is how efficient is that new system? So we're not just talking about the repair costs themselves, but the money that the 
new system would save you if you were to go with a newer system. And then finally, I would say, is that system under warranty? Why is this costing so much if the part itself is covered? Maybe that might lead you down a road of possibly getting another opinion or two. But the last thing I'll say is this. Here's my two cents. Here's what I would tell my own family. I think you need to take all of those things into consideration. You need to take the shape of the system and the warranty and the efficiency of that system and the opinion of the professional. But I think it's hard to have a blanket statement because there are many factors when it comes into this. And you know that. That's not me saying anything profound, but I would always try to, at my company, come at it from that point of view. When I had my repair business, my HVAC contracting business, I would talk to the homeowner and say, you know, I've got these concerns over here. I know your system's not as old, but this is something to consider here. If nothing else, then to cover me. So that way they can't come back to me two months later and say, why didn't you tell me about this over here? I did. I got pictures and I got everything that I laid out for you. And I recommended, listen, maybe we need to th talk about replacing. But on that same token, I was not always out just to sell a system. I was sometimes going to have a tough conversation with that homeowner and say, hey, I'd love to sell you a new system. I'd love to, but I don't know that I need to. I'm seeing some things over here. The system's not in that bad of shape. For me, it was always more important to win a customer for life than to make a quick buck. I probably left a lot of money on the table with that philosophy. But because of that, I can sleep at night. Even now that I've sold my heating and air company in my small town, I can bump into some of our old customers in a grocery store and it not be awkward because for me, again, it was more important to win a customer for life. And so that would be my message here. If you're a homeowner, find a good contractor that you trust. If you're a contractor, take care of the homeowner do the right thing, plant good seeds, and you'll reap a good harvest. Let me know your thoughts. Has any of this crossed your mind? Have you used the 5K rule? I'd love to hear about that. I think it's okay to have some sort of rule of thumb here. And let me know if you've used that. If you like this video, I think you'll like this one even more. It's where I talk about five issues that I see with some of these new refrigerants. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button. We'll see you next time.